What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. And we are back with the Madrid Shamartin B, Real Madrid Club Selection Pack. Now, again, this is kind of an interesting pack, especially if you are a newcomer to the game. A lot of new people contacting me, asking me, you know, how to start a squad, how to build a squad, all that. I do have a load of videos on that, and I will be bringing more. But for this, I think there's two kind of uh, ways that you fit in, or there's two kind of categories that you fit into. You know, the first category is that you've been playing the game for less than maybe three to four months and you're still building a squad, your favorite 11, and you haven't, you know, opened a lot of packs or got beastly players. And then the second category is somebody that's been playing the game for a long time. And unless somebody absolutely insane comes along, you're probably not going to get a brilliant pack or a brilliant upgrade from these packs, you know, because we are towards the end game of eFootball 2023 now. Um, you know, you're not going to really be replacing, you know, one of your star men, such as Neymar or Messi, you know, with these guys, you know, Asensio or somebody like that. But there is always in these packs one or two players that are definitely worth checking out in a little bit more detail. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of discard a few of the lads first, but I will go through everybody in a little bit of detail and give you a quick look at them. And then we will do training guides on the best players, which would probably be two or the three, right? So we'll start with Danny Cabalas. This guy is obviously the lowest rated player on the squad or on the selection. He's not a bad player at all. He's got kind of a similar kind of feel to him um, than, you know, the likes of Pedri or the likes of those guys where he's got excellent dribbling. He's got really good player skills. You know, he, he has one touch pass. He's got way to pass. He's also got double touch. I like as well the fact that he's got a bit of aggression. That is nice, especially as an orchestrator because he will be picking up lovely uh, positions on the pitch. But I do think that he is obviously not going to be um, you know, fitting into your squad unless you are kind of like really lacking at central midfield, right? This is how we've trained him up. Uh, you know, you go into the 90s with the dribbling, the ball control dribbling and tight possession. But I think the rest of it is kind of, yeah, just kind of fairly average stats. It's not bad at all. Let me let me tell you that. It's not bad. I mean, the low pass at 87 is very good. Offensive awareness is good. Aggression at 70 is nice. Acceleration at 80, 85 balance. It's very decent. He's a very good standard card. Similarly, we've got Nacho or Nacho. This guy is a, a beast as well. He's a destroyer. He doesn't have blocker, but he does have interception. And of course, you can give stats and player or player skills to different players. So that's not a real concern. And look, I always kind of talk about the sweet spot of a center back, especially a destroyer. OK, if you're able to get a center back with the destroyer playing style, which he has here with 75 acceleration, OK, and 90s in the stats, you've got a beastly defender that you can't really crib about, you know, um, because that's kind of where the game is at at the moment. I mean, all you want from your center backs when you actually get the ball into um, those positions is to be able to clear the ball, like just get rid of the ball as simple as you possibly can. He does have unwavering form and he is on B rating this week as well. So he's a nice card. It's a nice kind of like middle of the road, mid squad kind of card. We also will take a look as well as Ka at Kamavinga. We did uh, have a big video on Kamavinga. He was a left midfielder, but I was recommending you play him at left back um, in the player of the weeks. And this guy, again, he's got one touch pass. He's got interception. He's got Marseille turn and soul control. He is very, very, very solid in the middle of the pitch. Sliding tackle as well. And as I said, lads, if you can give, you know, you can throw... You know, double touch on this guy if you want him more attacking base player. You can throw a heel trick on him. You can also throw uh, fight and spirit and blocker if you want to have him defensive. I mean, we can do a player guide on him, but we have covered Kamavinga quite in depth. He does go to, I think it's a 92 overall when we train him up that way. Um, and you can see there that he's got some very, you know, mid 80 stats, which is quite nice. We also have Asensio, who I think Asensio as a kind of an outright winger is not going to really do it for you because he's just too slow no matter what you do, right? He does have a lot of nice player skills and including super sub makes him a little bit more interesting and unique. But I do think that he's a very kind of, he's a hard player to use compared to what works in the game because he is more of a shooting kind of right winger, right? So when we are training him up and we take a look at over here, like if you're training him up with the with the usual, you know, dribbling and dexterity, even with 11 points into dexterity, you're still only getting his acceleration to 84, which is quite low, right? So that's why I would probably kind of, you know, change out this a little bit and use him as kind of like a right midfielder type player. That's kind of where I would use him. I'm not so focused on the acceleration. You're still fast, but it's more about shooting and passing. That's kind of where you're going with him, you know? 
um where you can pop in you know 85 shooting and then you can get the passing the low pass at 78 even at that is still a little bit low in my opinion but you know you can just decide whether you shoot a lot you can take that down and then throw it into the passing to get him up to 82 but again there's just way better dribblers uh centric way way better fast dribble centric uh right wingers in the game and then there's better kind of players as well you know with player skills that are able to kind of swing the ball in um even though he does have outside curler and he does have early crosser here as well and he can play pretty much anywhere in the pitch now through the middle is probably a little bit better because apart from the pa passing as an amf he does have a nice blend of skills and stats so then we're kind of getting into the big boys here right so i'll just go through courtois quite easily and, and simply because that's we don't need to spend too much time on courtois right the one thing with courtois is he does not have low punt here now i know a lot of people um including myself we just recommend long throw the whole time and he does have that he's on wavering form you want you don't really want to be taking up a spot on your squad with a sub goalie you want your goalie to be up more often than not I think Donnarumma is the best keeper in the game. I've gone on record of saying it. I think since the patch, I would say Ter Stegen has been a monster as well. And so has Courtois. Uh, he's an absolutely insane keeper. He does max out fairly nicely with the 90 reflexes. Um, goalkeeper awareness, you know, you might need a little bit of work on that. But you can train him slightly different. Uh, but he is a bit of a beast as well. And he does have some nice skills and stuff. And then we also have Benzema, right? Benzema is kind of, not that I'm, you know, a throwaway kind of striker ranting. I mean, he's one of the best center forwards of all time. He's an absolute monster. Um, but I just think his game doesn't really translate to e-football at the moment, especially as a deep line forward, as you see there. A deep line forward is going to be more of a ball player. Like you kind of think of Burkamp or uh, Berbatov. Yes, they score goals. Obviously, Benzema scores lots of goals, but you know, this obviously is in real life football. So he is going to play a little bit different than he does in real life. He'll still get on the end of everything because he's just got really high finishing stats, especially with the AI. When we train him up here, you're going to have 92 offensive awareness. You're going to have 87 tight possession and ball control and 88 finishing. Speed isn't really a concern for him because of the player, the way he's going to be playing. But the big problem with him as a deep line forward is you are going to have to play in a slightly different way than you would with somebody such as, you know, Mbappe or the top the top class strikers, you know, that do a lot of the work for you running off the ball, um, you know, running into the box. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. So that brings us to the last two players that are probably the most exciting players and probably the two I would say that are the most worthwhile spinning for in here, right? So first up, we have got Valverde. Sorry. Valverde is a fantastic player. As I've spoken about him as one of the kind of hidden gems of the game, his standard card for a long time, right? And his standard card has 32 levels. Valverde has got 22 levels. So um, this guy has got three better stats in him uh, across the board. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. But there's been so many cards released of him. Um, you know, this guy is, is just a really, really good player. Uh, and I do like the fact that they have given him a couple of more levels. I would have liked, I think, to have given him maybe 26 levels as well to bring him on par because he does have one touch pass but you know you will probably need to give him a couple of player skills depending on where you play him right now when we take a look over here this version of him that they released right the derby day is the exact same card you can see the only difference with this card is that he had plus three to his offensive awareness and minus three to his kicking power and he has 26 levels so this is definitely a lesser you know uh, a lesser version of uh valverde this guy here um because he's only got 22 levels and they're pretty much identical cards you can see there any of the 84 rated cards are probably better than him i would say you know give or take a couple here or there um but yeah this this card i mean it depends how you're training him up but i definitely think if you are looking for a really good attack and center midfielder while still having a bit of defensive capabilities he is your man i genuinely think he's a monster you know you can go to 90 acceleration yes it's overkill but again we're going for that offensive awareness of 80 right that's where we want him we want him to be pushing forward he's a really big engine on him you don't need more than 80 speed lads in my opinion 80 speed is more than enough if you don't need anything else the passing he goes up to the passing quite well you can get him up to 85 the dribbling is the same you can get that up to 85 tight possession and ball control are less important with this card i think um because you're going, going to be moving the ball quite quickly and you also have one touch pass right and then you've got two points that you can pop in you can either get 80 aggression or of course you can get one more into lower body and one more into you know a defendant or whatever but i would pop probably pop two onto defendant and you've got a really good attack based uh center midfielder you know and similarly right similarly if you don't want um he doesn't need to go that high on the acceleration for you know a second version of him 
you can just probably pop this in once you have 80 tight possession you're fine once you have maybe 83 low pass 80 i would probably keep it at 85 low pass if it was me but the rest of the stats you can just pop into defending there and get 87 aggression which actually makes him a little bit better you can have a higher overall on this card 87 aggression and 80 tackling so that's kind of a defensive mopping up everything kind of like Kante I mean he is as close to Kante as you're going to get um because Kante has got you know poor form in the game this guy doesn't and then also on top of that we do have a Rudiger one of the best players I think probably top five uh standard center backs in the game if you missed out on his special edition, right, this is pretty much identical to the Germany build on him. This German card had 18 uh, levels. This guy has 25, but they are pretty similar cards. Um, you also have this card as well here um, that was released, uh, the nominating contract one that was released way back when, which was an insane card. You had the Derby Day one, which had only 18 levels. So I think this card that they've released is actually probably one of the best versions that they've released because it has 25 levels, right? The rest of the card is identical. But if you take it in comparison to the Germany card, the Germany card had plus three in aggression and then plus one on everything in attack, which is irrelevant really. But it only had 18 levels, right? It only had 18 levels. And this guy has got 25 levels to go, which is which is really, really good, right? So I think if you stick blocker on this guy as an additional player skill, if you train an additional player skill, blocker onto Rudiger, I think you've probably got one of the best, if not the best center backs that you can get um like kind of now that's that's a non-epic right now we will max him out here and take a look that we can actually max him out with 90 defensive awareness and 99 aggression but i think that obviously you want to keep a little bit because he does have good form over here with the unwavering form we do want to never max out a stat because we won't get any boost then with the player forms okay so if we go 13 on the defendant there, we're going to have 88 defensive awareness, 91 tackling, 97 aggression, and 86 engagement. And then the rest of the stats, we're going to have 75 acceleration, 75 speed, 89 physical contact, which we can pop up to 90 if we want to, right? And then the rest of it, we can either decide that we're going to pop two more on to uh, dexterity if we want to do that, um, or else we can, you know, pop on like three more on to have 90 jump with 80 with 77 header and 93 physical contact that is an absolute machine of a center back lads a monstrous center back you've got every stat that you could possibly want as well as that 75 acceleration that you'll be able to close down space a lot easier so yeah there is a couple i will do a training guide on valverde and on rudiger if you want anybody else let me know but yeah, that is it for me, lads. Until next time, let me know if you're going to be spinning or skipping, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.